Hey gang, this is Siobhan with SLK Services and I want to take the time out to thank you so very much for coming over to watch this video. If this is your first time here, thank you so very much for coming over. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also comment down below just to let me know you are here so I can go check out your channel. And then also if you are a current subscriber and you visited my channel before, Thank you so very much for coming back to check out the content that I'm sharing here and I'm going to try to be more consistent in posting. I don't know if it's going to be every day, but it might be every other day or every two to three days, but I'm trying to get out more videos, more content that I can share with you guys that may be helpful in your work from home journey if you're planning on working from home. So today I want to talk to you guys about more technical things that uh, pertain to working from home that you may find useful and one of the most common things that I have come across when it comes to work from home is you're using your computer all the time so you have all this stuff that kind of is, is very easy and simple I usually use Google Chrome but if you're using Safari if you're using um, Microsoft Edge those things are pretty much similar um, and when it comes to clearing your cache and cookies so I'm just going to jump right in. So over to the right hand side, you're going to see these three little dots in Google Chrome. You're going to click on those. Then you're going to go to history. And when you click on history, it's going to bring up the history of the things that you watched or you viewed. And so you're going to click there. So once you're there, you're going to click on clear browsing data. And then you're going to, you can clear for the last 24 hours, seven days, four weeks, or all time. I normally clear for all time because that's going to clear up my data as well. So it's going to clear out the browsing history, the cookies, the catch images and files. And so once that's done, then it should cause your system to run a little bit quicker. Now, another thing that I do use is something called CC Cleaner, a computer if you want to. And basically the CC Cleaner will run, runs a scan, then it will clean out all the other additional temporary files and all of that. I will run the um, history scan first and then go back and run the CC scan. Now that is one of the things that I want to tell you guys that is the most common technical issue that I come across um, because I do use my computer quite a bit and usually it's because I have to download software for whatever client that I may be servicing and um, so it kind of bombards the system and kind of holds it down just quite so I have to clean my cash and cookies here do the CC cleaner even when I get into their systems I still have to do the cash and cookie cleaner um, on their system and then I also have to do updates to make sure my system is up to date now in my next video there are some additional things that when it comes to technical things that you will have to do or may have to do when it comes to work from home. They're not some things that I most commonly use, but this is one of the ones that I use the most. So I just wanted to take the time out to share that with you guys and I will see you all in my next video. And um, in that next video, I will either do technical um, share technical things with you or I'll be talking about um, more about the work from home journey. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.